not really sure where I was going. I was drifting off somewhere. Hey everyone, welcome back to Medium Monday. Ron Fartley here with you for another Medium Sauce. We're taking a look at a small batch maker uh, somewhere in or around the United States and taking a look at one of their Medium Sauces. So today, we have one that starts to range up into the higher realm of Medium Sauces, but it is Zab's Dattle Pepper Hot Sauce. So this is their original. They have another one that's a bit sweeter and a little less hot. Uh, but we'll be trying out the Zab's Daddle Pepper Hot Sauce. So, as you can imagine, if uh, the sauce itself is called that, it's probably got Daddle Peppers in it, and you'd be 100% right. So, well done so far on the uh, guest test. When we take off the cap, uh, and I'll, I'll put a little close-up here, you can see that the top is much less wide than a lot of others. We talk about 5-ounce woozies uh, in this series, and for Zab's, they actually have a six ounce bottle. So that opening at the top, much smaller. So a little more similar to a Tabasco in terms of size. Uh, but I'll go ahead and try the sauce and then we can talk a bit about it. All right, so get a rush of heat from the Daddle Pepper. It's uh, lower than a habanero, tends to be between 100,000, 300,000 really builds up on the back of your tongue. Uh, you'll see the sauce is fairly orange. The daddle pepper itself is orange. Any red daddle peppers, people tend to say, is not a real one. It's uh, more of a hybrid. And as I'm talking, that heat intensity grows a little bit. Not overwhelming. Uh, I think the turmeric and the carrots that are in here really play well with that heat and start to tone it down a little bit. So turmeric very bright in terms of color and helps out with this orange. So orange carrots, orange daddle peppers, turmeric, you're going to get a fairly orange sauce. And when you see the sauce, it's got the specks in there and some of the flakes as well. Uh, something that we enjoy seeing. In terms of design, the label goes with much more of an old, uh, kind of old look and feel. Now Zab's, the hot sauce company created by PJ Hello. McNall and Miles Hello. Soberoff, was created in 2018, the recipes were, and then 2019, they started to sell the hot sauce. Now, the Daddle Pepper is a favorite and really kind of a, a proud thing for the city of St. Augustine in Florida. So in and around that area is where the Daddle Pepper has grown. Zab's is actually located in Los Angeles. So in California, they have all of the Daddle Peppers shipped from St. Augustine and have decided to keep the home out there Fell in love with it during a work trip in 2014 and said, hey, we're going to do our best to kind of make a uh, an homage, if you will, to the Daddle Pepper sauces of Florida. The original is a vinegar based sauce. The other is a bit more of the traditional kind of Daddle Pepper sauce, a bit sweeter, has some fruits in there. But this one uh, gauges up in heat a little bit. You can find it on Fuego Box or on Zab's website. At the time of this recording, uh, the original and the St. Augustine style are both sold out. So try and get more peppers in and uh, you can pre-order. Each one is $12 and you can get that uh, ready to go for when they actually have stock again. As with many sauce makers, Zabs is still doing everything themselves. They started off doing recipes late at night with friends and now they're moving on into larger kitchens, had shared kitchens previously and continuing to move on up in the hot sauce world. Turmeric. Daddle peppers, vinegar, carrots. I mean, it's got everything you're looking for. Got the health benefits of turmeric in there as well. And that is a solid sauce. So Zab's uh, Daddle Hot Pepper. Oof, so complicated. Zab's Daddle Pepper Hot Sauce. Little blue dog. Get a dab of Zab's. Find them online, Instagram, Facebook, any of the standard places. And you can find us for more Medium Mondays at fartleyfarms.com, Instagram, YouTube. We're also on Twitter. But not too many people look at that. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, Ron Farley.